say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but for some, it's also about the nose or the cheeks or the lips. The women you're about to meet believe they're just a nip or tuck away from a flawless face, and they're willing to go under the knife over and over again to achieve it. But are they losing themselves in the search for perfection? Here's ABC's Deborah Roberts. And my tip is not as defined as I would like it to be. And it's kind of droopy as well. Kendra Alaya is on the hunt for the perfect face. I just looked in the mirror one day. Makeup's not changing. Anything's not helping. Maybe it's my nose. She's flown all the way from California to New York, believing this city of dreams will grant her wish for the nose she's always wanted. Hopefully I hope to see a nose, you know, not too far from what it is now. Not a totally drastic, like the done look. Kendra's no stranger to the knife. I've been to this three times. She's on her fourth, that's right, fourth attempt at rhino perfection. No one thinks every part of them is perfect. Just not everyone's willing to change it. And I'm willing to change what I don't think is looks good. And in recent years, an explosion in the number of racial minorities turning to beauty-enhancing procedures, in part because of their increased buying power. So in high school, my first procedure was getting this double eyelid um, crease put in. Jessica Choi dropped $8,000 on eye and nose work, but unsatisfied went all the way from California to South Korea in search of her dream face. I've always been an Asian girl growing up in America, always wanting to be that blonde hair, blue eyed girl, um, not having eyes big enough. I think I just grew up with a lot of, a lot of that stress and that um, ex external pressure. A societal pressure to conform to what many argue is a Western ideal of beauty, from the silver screen to magazine covers filled with thin noses and wide eyes. That's the message they're giving. You know, what they're saying is that the look of the natural look of an Asian person is not good enough. Kendra, who hopes the surgery will finally give her a reflection she's happy with, says beauty has no price tag. The total cost for the procedure was about 14000 I see nothing wrong with it. I, it's fine. I always thought she was pretty. Mom Sylvia isn't sure it's money well spent. Sylvia worries that with each nose job, her daughter is erasing her ethnicity. Yes, you're not a big fan of that high school picture. No. I'm proud of my blackness. Always been that way. I don't want to change a thing. But Kendra insists her nose doesn't define her identity. So here she is, hoping this surgery is her last. Just, you know, I'm wanting to just get this process, this part over with. Yeah, this is always the most, gives me the most anxiety. Hey, how are you? Welcome. How was your trip? Plastic surgeons are capitalizing on the trend. Dr. Ola Slukchinski specializes in what he calls ethnic surgery, marketing himself to minorities. Uh, when we talk about ethnic uh, cosmetic surgery, we typically refer ethnic to African-American, Asian, Hispanic. Come this way. He says patients of all races seem to want similar looks. I certainly have a fair amount of patients that come and bring me photos of super celebrities that are walking around with either half Caucasian, half African-American nose or half ethnic nose. Kendra's surgery takes two long hours and it's complicated because of all those previous procedures. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have to take some ear cartilage because really we don't have enough there. As more surgeons find patients of color in their operating rooms, some find themselves grappling with questions about what ideal beauty looks like. Are people of different ethnicities trying to get more European, more white-looking noses? You know, I think that's wrong. What people want to do is they want to refine their nose. I don't care if you're white, African-American, Asian. Dr. Stephen Perlman sees patients from every background. The number one operation on the face is rhinoplasty. Nose jobs. Nose jobs. But whose nose is he offering? Are you promoting kind of a Western ideal of beauty? Well, you and other plastic surgeons? It's hard to say. Again, we don't define beauty. Beauty is defined by the media, by the fashion industry, and by the public. So if you look at you know, who's on the cover of the magazines, look at their features. 
Some would argue that even those images are often altered or photoshopped. Most recently, singer Lord accused fashion magazine of altering her nose, while some said Vanity Fair lightened Lupita Nyong'o's skin. Fashion magazine denied the allegations. Those Western features still the standard of beauty and what most patients come to Dr. Perlman for. In fact, he uses technology, 3D imaging, to give patients an idea of what he's willing to do. Curious, I hopped in the chair. Oh my gosh, this is wild. And here the computer is now building a 3D image of your face. But if I wanted to, if I wanted to narrow a little bit, that's how would you the, achieve that? Th this is where I love doing the imaging. Wow, that's really kind of creepy. <laughs> Seeing it happen like that on myself. As for the real thing, Kendra's actual surgery is finally over. It wasn't so bad, right? Yeah. Four days later, we check in. How are you feeling? Physically, I feel fine. You know, a little sore, but I'm recovering. So you've spent close to $40,000? Spending. A lot of it was finance. Kendra's pleased, but her mom is skeptical. No, I think she was fine the way she was. Are you kind of teetering on a little too much? Let's say if my nose was close to what they would call the Michael Jackson complex look, you know, that nose, that dumb look. And I look like I barely had anything done, so I don't think I'm anywhere near on the too much side. What are you going for? I mean, clearly you're a woman of color. Do you not want to look like a woman of color? No, I do. I definitely want to look like a woman of color. I don't think changing my nose is going to make me not look like a woman of color. I'm always going to be black, obviously. Now, time for a checkup. You won't be able to tell that you took the cartilage out. No. It'll look great. You can't tell that anything was removed. So do you think the fourth time is going to be the charm, Kendra? I think so. Then, days later, the big reveal. Oh, okay. Let's just see how this... Oh, wow. <laughs> I like it's it. The one you want. <laughs> yeah, it's the one I want. And I don't think it looks drastically different. Just slightly different. Her old friend Kimberly is there. So I'm going to stand with her no matter what crazy decision she makes. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. But I, I'm nowhere near the Michael Jackson complex. In like. her mind. I'm sure he didn't think so either. Weeks later, finally, Kendra has the nose she's dreamed of. I don't have any regrets about any of my surgeries. Um, each one, even though I wasn't satisfied previously, each one did get me a little closer to where I wanted to be, so I don't regret any of my past surgeries, and I don't regret this one. Her days of going under the knife, she says, all done. For Nightline, I'm Deborah Roberts in New York.